there's no shape to my hair right now. It's making me crazy. I don't want to cut too much off, but I'll be honest. I am willing and ready to do, um, to get it short. I'm willing. I'm, I'm, I can totally do it. I just need to have a nice style. And that's, the, that's what I'm going to do is a wolf cut or, um, what do you call it? <clears throat> a modern shag. I saw Brad Mondo do it. I saw Sam Villa do it. I like Sam Villa, but the thing with him is he's very technical and his, his videos are <clears throat> very precise and they take a little longer and my ADHD doesn't uh, have the patience to watch the whole thing without skipping. So I think I miss a lot of pieces, but with the Brad Mondo, he kind of keep, keeps my attention, keeps me interested. So I'm going to go by him. Now I don't know if I can play that while I'm cutting my hair because of copyright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do my hair while I'm watching him here on the side, but I'm not going to let you hear his uh, voice. Okay, so I'll watch it and I'll just do what he does, okay? So let me just get my stuff together and just hold on and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, so I had to trim this part and I took about two, two inches off. You could really see my, my roots there. I took about two inches off. I just had to pull it all the way back, but it was, I didn't want to record because it was getting really messy. <laughs> Put all this hair on the floor. It's still a little uneven. I'm not going to worry about the, like the little pieces. Okay. I just, this is annoying. I got it. I have to change. Hold on. Okay. So I kind of went ahead just to show you. Um, I'll cut. He said, put the uh, line behind the ear, which is what I did. I know it's not even over there. Listen, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then, um, and then he said, section this off in two pieces. So the top and the bottom. And then, <laughs> I know, I know. Listen, I know. I'm, I'm trying my best, okay? I really, I really am. This is not easy for me, okay? Okay, so. God, it can't be that hard. It's just hair. All right. See, I can't see. Look at that gray. Ugh, I hate that. Anyway, and then he said, um, direction it in front of the face, like swing it over, which is what looks like the doll looks like, doesn't look like me, but, and then right there, he makes that even. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it. He makes that even. So he's just going to cut. He goes, Ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, but I can't really do it like that. Plus I really hate the hair here. Okay. So, but he goes like that. I'm just going to go like this. Okay. I'm just going to do it like that. I don't care. I'm just going to do it like that. And then, let me see. Let me see. I'm just going to do it like this. Put it here. Okay. And then this is the bottom part, which is, see, it's still over the ear. And then he's going to, he swings this over. And he does the same thing. And he goes like that. And then he just kind of like evens it out. So just hair and plus I hate that it's really that color it's like a pink weird ugh. man do I hate that color like that weird orange pink you know what I'm talking about like when your hair fades oh I really hate it okay <clears throat> and then you do it to the same to the other side okay so let me just you know what let me just get this out of the way because that's annoying and then <coughs> <clears throat> I'm going to do this on the other side and then I'll just show you in a second. I took the uh, rubber band off and, uh, sorry, <laughs> I don't know what that was. And um, you can see, see my cowlicks? I have, my hair is, has always been like that. It's really annoying. But um, yeah, you can see the difference if you compare it to the beginning of the video. Let me get this big so that I can see. You can see the difference um, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I can definitely see it. It doesn't have those big, those two big pieces that it had in the, in the beginning. I got rid of those giant lobs right here, globs. And, uh, 
you know. Yeah, it looks good. It's just my hair is very curly and wavy, you know. So now the next uh, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my hair color. Um, I don't want to mess with the cut too much. I just want to leave it like this, and I'm going to do the hair color. Now what I'm go going to use is, just so you know, I don't want to put it all over. I'm going to put just uh, for my grays, just they're just so gross. They're all everywhere. <clears throat> and... Revlon Color Silk uh, number 42, which is, I don't have the box, sorry, but it's the Auburn, red Auburn. And normally I use the copper, but I'm going to put this on my, there. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of this with it because I'm insane and I like mixing and experimenting because I know that Auburn with blonde is going to be like a lighter Auburn. And, uh, <clears throat> so I'll figure it out. I'm going to mix this whole bottle with this whole bottle, which comes together. And then I'm just going to put just a little bit of this in there just to lighten it up a little. I might even throw some brown on <laughs> I know, right? I might just throw a little bit of uh, fifty number 51 because it's like a light, light brown. I might. I don't know. Mm. But anyway, so that's it. I'll show you how I do my hair color in the next uh, video. I just, I don't want to go too long here. This is only 10 minutes. Or should I do all, should I do it all here? Yay, do it all here. All right, I'll do it all here. All right, pause. All right, so I got my brush. I got my bowl. I got my Color Silk Revlon number 42, which is Auburn. Put that in there. Yeah. That's like ASMR. I think it's ASMR, right? Should have done it really slow. And then I have this. Oh, wait a minute. This one's lighter than this one. So probably I'm going to need this. Let's see if you can hear it. No, you can't. Okay, so. You know the ASMR? You know what I'm talking about, right? I think I said it right. Is it ASMR? You know what I mean. Those noises. ASMR. Hello, hello, hello. It's so weird. I just think that's so weird. I, I, I do, though, however, appreciate it when I see... Uh, like Bob Ross, for example. If you listen to Bob Ross when he's talking, Bob Ross. His voice was incredibly soothing to me, and I've always used to love to hear him. Just not, not even watch as much as I did want to watch, but most of the time I could just fall asleep listening to him. He really would make me go to sleep. Just something about his voice. And then this too, you know, that noise, like, you know what I mean. But anyway, so I mix this and um, maybe I put too much bleach. You know, I was gonna make brown, mix brown with it, but decided not to. I'm gonna put a little bit of blonde in here. Let's experiment, come on, what's, what's it gonna do? I mean, really, if it comes out really crappy, this is uh, Revlon color number four and it is ultra light natural blue <laughs> that's really light so I'm just gonna put a little bit you know like just a little bit because with red it's like red and yellow you mix it and it comes out more orange you know what I mean so it'll be more coppery so I'm assuming it's gonna come out kind of like this is already there because the auburn in the box is darker than this and this is pretty accurate It's pretty accurate. So I got this shower cap that I'm going to wear so it doesn't make a mess. And I'm going to start with my uh, roots because I just feel like using my roots, doing my roots first. I don't care. You know, people say, oh, do the roots first. <laughs> but you know what? I don't want to do the, all my hair. First of all, I don't have enough hair dye. 
And second of all, I don't really want to do all of it. I just want to do my roots. Talk amongst yourselves, have some coffee or something. All right, bye. I just wanted you to see my cap. <gasps> what do you think? Is it nice? Look. Okay, let me show you. You saw that I only did the top and the roots, so I didn't do, you know, I didn't dye the bottom parts. So now you can see, because I washed it in hot, hot, hot water, you can see the highlights that I had underneath it coming out even more now, you see? Because I didn't dye the bottom part, I only dyed the, the roots. And look how even it came out. See? It came out nice, look. Covered the uh, highlights. Sorry for the lights, I don't know what that is. See? Nice and even. And um, I can wear it in the front, I mean in the middle. I could have gotten short I could have gone shorter on the bangs, but I was I was being conservative because I just wasn't really hundred percent sure. I could have gone shorter on the bangs, but that's okay. So I could wear it in the middle, which I don't care for. I can't wear it on this side because I have a scar and it's like it shows. So I have to go on this side. And that's where it all started. That hoop that I have. <laughs> That's how I wear my hair normally. It's my thing, you know. Also because it's just, I like it on this side. I like how it looks. It's got that little retro Jessica Rabbit kind of feel to it, which I like. And look at how silky it came out. And you know, you know what I used? I used coconut oil. And I put it on here like this. I just, and I, just a little bit, like I dipped my fingers in the jar and then I, put it like that and then I used a curling iron I just went shht, shht. I have to use that one and a half inch uh, thick curling iron because my hair I don't know if you can tell is very curly so if I don't uh, do that it will it'll be super curly which is nice too but I just wanted to show you the cut and I think you can see the layers right you can see the layers they came out nice okay i didn't do too much over here on the curling iron but but you can see the difference because it's toned down on the side and before when it was uh you know big you could you could tell it was big it was uneven it didn't have all these layers in it it was just all one piece so so thank you to uh, Brad Mundo, look it, and uh, his video that showed me how to do a modern shag, and that was that's all I needed to say, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will do a tutorial on makeup if you're interested, but let me know. Anyway, let me know what you think about the color, because remember, I used the blonde, the ultralight blonde, and the auburn to get this, this uh, color. And I didn't use that much of the blonde, but um, I gotta say, I'm liking it. Yeah, and I don't want to get longer than this. My hair grows pretty fast, and uh, it would probably get up to here and be long, but I just don't think it's, it's good for me. You know, plus, when you have longer hair and you have jowls, <laughs> when you have longer hair with jowls, it accentuates your jowls. You know what I mean? If you have longer hair, it just brings everything down. So people look at your hair and they like, they're looking, their eyes are looking 
down. So they see this and this, unfortunately. And you know, the best trick to hide jowls is to smile more. You get rid of your jowls when you smile more. If you're not, look. Do you see? Gone? Gone? <laughs> anyway, that's the trick. All right, so I saved you so much money on uh, plastic surgery that with that extra money that you have, you can go ahead and support my channel. I started a Patreon page and I don't even have subscribers. You know, the funny thing is, I'll tell you what, they say that you need a whole bunch of subscribers before you can even have a Patreon page. They said you should already have a fan base and I have like 19 subscribers on this channel, which is ridiculous, but I have some more people that follow my podcast, uh, you know, on like uh, Buzzsprout and Spotify. I have more people on that. But the thing is, I figured why not not listen to what everybody says and do your stuff anyway. So that's why I started a Patreon page anyway. But anyway, you can, you can subscribe if you want and you can uh, support me that way. You could bring me up to the thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube so that I can keep producing and keep feeling like you are interested in watching more of me, which is fine. Okay. So subscribe, like it, share and comment because it helps the algorithm and I will see you soon. And really do let me know, and not as a trick to get you to comment, but uh, really do let me know what you think because uh, I've been seriously considering, you know, shortening this hair. I've actually even considered going darker with lighter highlights, which would look, I think would look pretty good, but I'm not sure. Anyway, talk to you soon. I love you. God bless you. And remember, what do we say? We say ciao. Tweet, tweak. Tweet, tweak. Let's kiss, kiss. Okay. <laughs>